Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Wild Frost, fresh roguelike deck builder that I'm excited to be back to here today. Oh, it's, that's right, Snowgoon. Well, active add attack to all allies. I really, I had been dreaming of this. We can get a plus two to everybody. Is, does it seem like a big deal? No. Is it a big deal? Probably not. But it is something I really wanted to do. Just a plus two plus, or plus two uh, attack to everybody sounds quite nice um how do we, how does one get a combo in this scenario delaying you seems important seems good now we wait I get a wood head down for later, I suppose. Let you take a hit. You get the five. You get the scrappy sword. That works for me. That works for me. I'll take I'll take a double in that scenario and reduce you a bit. Oh, hold on. When hit, reduce attack. Yeah. Actually, I think we'll benefit a lot more from just doing like a sunrod situation on you. Because I can't let that happen. Okay, we'll try and set up. We'll try and set up a combo here, but we're gonna need to sunrod you. That's just gonna be too rough to deal with in another way, right? Okay, if I wait a turn, if I wait a turn. Then you die by <clears throat> So if I attack Okay, hold on. Okay, so you are you are intending to do a big blast. So you'll do six kill. Okay, so six kill. Attack for one. Attack I will take two damage. So I'll take three damage total. That doesn't really matter. Because that this it nets us a triple. I'll take a triple. I'll take a triple. As scary as it may well be. Uh doesn't really matter here. Delay the inevitable. We're fine, we're fine. Literally just a couple <laughs> scrappy swords away from success. Easy by the peasy. All right. Charm or money? I kind of, I kind of want money again. Like, money can buy you a charm. Kabonker. I've not... I've not done anything with that, and you are plus five. Or, you're five damage. That is finally the run. It is finally the kabonking. Welcome to the kabonkening. Uh... Okay, I... Snuffle is good with kabonker. I can't deny that Tiny Tycho is theoretically incredible with a plus two damage on him for free without us having to do anything. But let's go for the snoffle of it all. Let's get snoffle. Okay. Snoffle first. Okay. Five freaking damage. So if I sunrod... Does this happen immediately? Yes. Oh, this gonna be good. Take a double.
shoot. Hmm. So that's Kabonker dead. If I just let that fly. Oh, I should have taken the two there, because now... Yeah, now what do we do? I could pull him back, or I could snow him, but... Trigger against anything that is hit with snow? I probably can't snow myself. Is this when I... Do I find out here? Do I do it for the science of it all? It's a... I mean, it's... Is it a disaster if Snoffle dies for science? Trigger against... I mean, I'm going to pull him back into my deck otherwise, because otherwise Kabonker's dead. <sighs> Alright, for science... We need to know, we need to know this data. We we need to know this data and I'm pretty sure I do. But this is Okay. It's better snuffle than snow goon later, right? Like that's kind of that's kind of my take on it. I, is it good? No, it sucks really bad. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. I'm glad we we know it now. It is important to have figured this out now, but Kabonker is kind of Here's the thing though. Uh enemies stop having snow later. We will be fine. But dang is kind of where I'm at. We'll delay that a little bit. We'll take that. Because then by the time we get a go again, you shouldn't be a problem, really. Okay. Alright, we learned some really important data. Like, did it make the fight a lot closer and worse than it would have been? Yes, but that is information that we tested in a vacuum so that it doesn't kill my hero later. Ooh. It, it, it was important info. Consume five damage up? I'll think about it. Hey. If it's gonna kill my hero, at least it's gonna do it twice as fast. Get this. This is a slap, like, this is absolutely a slap cracker. Are you kidding me? Six damage four times? Surprise me. Frost Bell is tempting, though. Gain five coins from each kill. Probably makes more sense to put down Snoffle since Snoffle has a cooldown. So yeah, spikes are the only thing that are a problem. Not, uh, smackback isn't a problem because if Kabonker's hitting it, then it's been snowed. Right? Okay. Do, do not 
ever get snowed upon. I mean, they both do freaking five. Let's take that one random, then we get, um, then we kill all of them. You're not going to be a combo anyways. It's a little bit of a waste. Problem here. <sighs> hmm. And if we let you attack, it's bad. Okay, just look out for. Okay, so whenever anything is snowed. Okay, so whenever anything is snowed, whenever anything is snowed, okay. Mm. What do we do here? Like, Snoffle solves it, but also we die on the snowbow. Well, a, a Kabonker dies on the snowbow. Slap crackers is a play. It's a, it's a random play. Man, I don't know. Okay, there's a chance of a Kambonker getting hit, or I could pull back somebody. See, this is the thing, maybe I should have just rolled and then done the rod for Snoffle anyways. If I let you go, we obviously, like, I have to snow stick you. There's, there's no other answer. Yeah, we really just we just have to hope that neither hit the the snow boy. That's basically the 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 dream. A couple fifty fifties here. This one's less likely. Good. That one. Yeah. Okay. Mathematically, that checks out. You apply snow. You apply snow. And you have the freaking. I got, what do you have to have the freaking? Okay, so here's what we... Uh, I could... I could... Okay, okay. As stupid as this is. And it is stupid. I could... So this is two damage, five damage. This is seven damage. Oh my god. But then you hit everything. I hate this stupid snowbow. The freaking spikes ruins everything here. The spikes ruins everything. But then we're in such a good spot to snap, uh, slap cracker. I absolutely hate this. 
curse that one guy with, uh, with spikes. Oh, it's aimless within a row, though. Yeah, that's right. Like, here's the thing. I'm not worried about dying. Should I be? Maybe. But I'm not actually that worried about dying. We have... So, we have more coming in. The barrage is a problem. I think we just need to guarantee that you don't hit there. All right. Bye bye. All right. So yeah, missing the one Kabonker is quite rough here. I don't think I can get a double. Wait. Ah, uh, no. No, there's no way I can get a double. Wait. No. We're one off. We're one off. We're one off. At least we didn't die. At least we didn't die. I am so sad that we had to take that... Okay, companion limit? No, especially now that we have the Kabonkers, it makes no sense. There's an interesting case for companion limit if we didn't go for uh, clunkers. Go for redraw on this one. Okay, we have to go here, which sucks. I mean, we do get a charm merchant. Don't get excited by anything just take the vase and move on frenzy and consume frenzy and aimless restore to health on kill frenzy and consume I, th this has to be useful. Surely, smile, this has to be useful. This actually could be worth it today. It, it has an extra scrap on it. It's actually a blocker. Two attack to... Sure? Sure. I think that if it's ever going to be worth it to be today. So far. Critical? Oh. Oh yeah, I can't put it on slap crackers. I'm leaning towards saving it. I feel like we could get something better. Oh boy. I actually think... I actually think we kind of do well against this, don't we? Yep. All right. 
so that was a lot of charge up for this, but it is gonna certainly be worth it. All right, there. Woo, baby. I mean, I can absolutely explode somebody. In my head, I'm just like, should I just wait and set up an even bigger, an even bigger kill? Cause if I snow you, you're you you're done. I was hoping that the... Well, oh well. I don't want to hit him. Even though we do get the demon eyes. Oh, Snoffle, if you could just have waited a turn, man. You just could have waited a turn. Alright, so is it... I think it's the one in the row first. Because this one went first when we... Or maybe it's whoever I put down first. Maybe it's whoever I... Yeah, that could be it. Okay. We take those. Shop? No shop. We don't have another unit yet. That's okay. I think we just want charms. An ally is healed, apply equal. I mean, I mean, eh. Uh, active allies retain spice, I don't think is gonna matter. I'll take a demon heart. We, it is usable. Going for it. Going for it. When destroyed, deal eight damage to enemies in the row. That is a junkhead or woodhead if I've ever seen it. Junkhead is uh is real though, right? That junkhead is the uh clunk master. I mean I have no safety right now. Storm Globe is cool, but I have no safety. Like, I have zero defense. So, getting that sounds nice. Like, that will be for my, um, my non-clunker range or uh, area. Surely it's not worth it yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we'll just have to take another one. it as a bomb on enemies now, though. Q 
curious. That is disynergistic to the extreme, though. Thank you. That is perfect. That was perfect. Oh, that's even better. I think I let that die so that I can play Shelbo. Actually, I'll just pull it back into my hand. And then do we play Shelbo now or do we do the Explodey Boy? It's a good Explodey Boy. Snuffle gets Pawpaw killed. Explode does not count for... Yeah. Okay. I wish I could delay you, but oh well. Alright. Is it whatever is played first? I think it might be whatever is played first, which is good, because that's... Well, you're not crowned. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure to crown you, then. Hear me out. Oh, that counts as a hit! I didn't know that counted as a hit. That sucks. That checks out. Wait. It has zero damage on it? It does. Interesting. I'll just pop this then. We probably should hit Big Blue instead, but... I'm still- I still got the greed in my eyes. I can't deny. Okay, so I think we, um... It's weird. The freaking the pawpaw so, like just ruins everything genuinely by itself. Uh... I wanted to do that so that the first Kabonker hit kills it. That was the goal, but the fact that it has a zero damage attack on it ruined everything. <clears throat> I've never used it on an enemy. Well, I probably have. I don't think I've used it on it. Maybe I have. Maybe I, maybe I have. Big Lou will get snowed in the process of this. If I sun run here. But we're also it also means we lose two Kabonkers. Uh If we let this play out normal, little gazy attacks. Kabonker. Okay, so if we let this play out normal, but we snow stick here, that is a better scenario. Is it scary? Yes. 
but we we do have it yeah okay so then the big blue we probably just pull back somebody and let the sparklers take it i guess right yeah we can pull back snuffle at this point So we got the five. Oh shoot! All right, end it then. End it then. Man, stop giving me spike charms. This run would be so easy. This would be so easy without spike charms. It's not that bad already. Like I can't deny, but it'd be so much easier with spike charms. Well, the thing is, with the, um, if we have Spice Sparklers down, then, ooh. Just, yeah. Just give it all. Draw two on kill. Sure. Good to not. All right, no spikes. Hmm. Well, there are no spikes. Sunrod? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, Random targets in the row. Well, there's no guarantee that that was going to work. But I also didn't need it to. Freaking puncher. Just in case. All right. Welcome to hell. How did I get into a situation where you're gonna... Well, whatever. Bye-bye.
Whatever, bye-bye. Truthfully, another slap cracker copy would be potentially decent. Another Kabon Another Kabonker is interesting because I could also sack the other Kabonker in the process. You know? If I need to. This one's just... Tr it's charmed up to the heavens. You know? Like, we just don't have to use the other one. The safer thing would be another Shelbo. thing is you get to you get to have critical on it if if i'm worried about disaster this is what we do okay speaking of potential disaster though Whoop. get you out here i think we do already It's weird. The aimless is interesting because we it is within row, so. Okay, we got lucky. Nice. Another Kabonker. And let's roll to get our final Kabonker. So much stupidity. So little time. Okay, this row is dead. Like, if I... If I just do this... Okay, so we can, add, we can, we can attack outside our row. Not bad. Not bad. There the boss. the only way that could have gone and not helped okay so it's aimless within their row that's really really good to know Cool. Cool, dude. I need more crowns because setting this up in the final fight is going to be uh, not. Man, that was a quick jump up. All, like, all of a sudden we were here. It's crazy. Crown, yes. Absolutely. Snow cake? I just don't think we need it. I think we just want to get some more charms. We could get like a Noomlin. That'd be the dream. Huh! Let's go! Okay. 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 We need to get one of these in our starting thing. I think that that's just crucial. Barrage and reduce attack by two is very intriguing. You're still going to do three damage. Numlin again somehow? I don't think that's possible. Oh, that is the absolute stupidest charm to get last. If we could have gotten it beforehand, that would have been interesting. There's just no point. So the question is, do I want Snowcake? 
And I think the answer is, I'm good. Like, am I worried about this fight? Not really. Oh. 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 Baby. That means we can put him on the Kabonkers. We can now put that on Kabonkers. This run is Kabonkers. Least, it matters least if Snuffle dies. get, like, junk things out of my deck. Oh. We're playing this a little bit too fast here. And yet I think it's fine. Oh, I no longer think it's, like, that fine. But... Now it is. Okay. If you're already snowing everybody, that, that helps already. are getting kabonkers. Cut. When hit, apply snow to the attacker, though. One of these kabonkers is going to um, commit the ultimate tragedy. Um... Maybe I let this turn play out, actually. Oh, that could be so... That It's crazy how bad that could be. It's crazy how bad that could be. This could go so awry. Because I don't know how aimless works when we're targeting ourselves randomly. In, in, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Freaking Uba Bear. Freaking Uba Bear. God, <laughs> it really, really causes a problem, huh? Shh. 
surely I can't, um... Just put them in the same row and it's fine. Oh my god, with the double? You had to with the double? The thing is, I can, I can take the double. There's no guarantee we kill the rock hog. Actually, is there? There's a guarantee. Is there a guarantee? Is there actually a guarantee? We have barrage. We have the five barrage. There's no guarantee. Lil Gazy could die. Well, then we shouldn't. Why even chance it then? I want a sunrod so bad. We're gonna have to face it in a second with Snoffle. I mean, have to is a strong, strong word here. We could actually just keep on ignoring our problems forever, and it sort of might work. I hate that we kind of have to play around it, but we kind of have to play around it. I mean, we, we win already, right? Theoretically, if we... If we just... Well, I guess what we could do is... Okay, well, you're attacking anyways. So I guess we'll do this. Because that doesn't take the turn. That puts you down to 13. And if we do this, you die mid... You die mid... Uh, whatever phase. Okay. And then it shouldn't go to combat. Woof! Woof! Oh my my. Oh my my. Crowns, crowns, crowns. Um. I like Shelbo Crown. I like it a lot. I especially like it if we could do it on on a Kabonker row. I feel like we need Snoffle out. Lil Gazy is a luxury. Um. So this would be what Snowgoon in the front, Snoffle behind. Man, this is a waste of a Noomlin if Snoffle dies. We could... Uh, I don't know, man. We could do... Oh, where do we put the barrage? We have such a thick deck at this point. I, I think that this won't be bad, but it also just always could be. <laughs> Lumen on Snoffle sounds cool, but it's either Lumen on Snoffle or Lumen on Sunrod, I would say, at this point. Or Lumen on Shelbo. Yeah. I think... I think this is our crown situation. I think so. Question being, like, 
I don't know, what, what about Molten Dip? Do we... I don't think we save the shovel because we have it. We have critical, so we're like we're really royally flubbing stuff if we don't. So, um, I think that this is my setup, and I guess I'm gonna go in and find out. I think I'm gonna just go in and find out what row we put them in after. I think I think I literally I think I just need to look at this to find out. Okay. Snowgoon is in front of Snoffle in whatever in whatever row we do. We could leave the space in front of Snowgoon. We could leave it a yeah, we could do Snoffle, Snowgoon. And then we have room to to slot something in front of Snowgoon, like a uh like a woodhead, or we could potentially put little Gazy in there. The question really is just where do we put the um the shell bow, and I, I do. I think it's on the Kabonkers. And then the question is: Is yeah, just where? Where's what row for the Kabonkers? Oh, this is so much. It's so much, man. It is so freaking much. It could go so wrong so easily. But I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna shell bow these so they can take a barrage. We drop that in there. What do we get in our first hand? I think that's fine. I think we do that always. And I think that we Molten Dip this turn. We take the two. So we're still not in Dead by Aimless range. I think that's too much... It's too much value to pass up for a first turn here. Yeah, so it, it doesn't even matter what row, man. Okay. I I still I still underestimated how much that was gonna do. How did I how? How did I still underestimate how much that was gonna do? That is crazy. How could I even how could I even still underestimate? Okay. Have a prize. And... Yeah, that, that's just the, the craziest thing of all is, like, that could have gone wrong. That's the craziest thing. That The craziest thing is that that could have gone wrong still. But it was very easy. Love a kabonker. Gotta love a kabonker. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, absolute freaking stuff there. Oh my god. So scary, so volatile. I think that that's the thing. Is It's not that it was particularly hard. It's that it was just super volatile. It could have been a, a real big problem, but it just wasn't. Um, apply Snow Smackback, of course. Smugbert. Four additional damage to already damaged targets. He does look like a Smugbert. Krulin with a three frost. You know, getting that up to a six and having, you know, potentially being like on a barrage. I think we could, I, I don't know. We, we may just do a salty run back, an unsalty run back snow dwellers angle tomorrow. But that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see these years go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Keep in mind, we may be nearing the end at any point. Don't be mad if that's the case. But if you don't want that to happen, what you do, it's you like, you comment, you let me know. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.